Hey guys, it's Rocio. I'm eating my favorite ice cream right now from Coils. It's called Mint Oreo. It's like sex in a cup. Just thought you should know. Today I want to talk to you guys about a trip I just took last Sunday. I actually went hiking alone for the first time and I booked a hotel room. I really had been feeling for the longest time that I've been wanting to take a trip by myself to clear my head just, you know, far away, not crazy far away, but just something for me. I really had wanted to do a bed and breakfast. I didn't really know what activity I wanted to do while I was there, but I knew that I just wanted to go away. So my friend posted a hike that he took on Facebook, and it ended up being in Cold Spring, New York, and I believe it was... Highland State Park and the hotel that I stayed at was nearby in West Point, New York. It's called Hotel There and it's actually attached to a military base. So I got a deal, booked it, everything was good to go. And I wasn't scared. Everybody thought I was crazy, that I was going alone and that I was going hiking of all things. I wasn't scared. I was really looking forward to it. You know, it was just something I truly, truly just wanted to do for me. And so I did it. I didn't really do my research the way that I should have. And I also wasn't wearing the proper shoes to go hiking. I had never gone hiking before, but I was dead set on doing it. It just like seemed like such a cool thing to do, be a one with nature, whatever. It's funny, when you go upstate, it's totally like you're in a different, and that's upstate New York. It's as if you're in a different country. It's as if you're in a different state. People are so different and friendly, you know, People were greeting me on the trail. It's the weirdest thing. People were really kind. I actually didn't even know how to get to the trail. When I was at the restaurant, I went to Riverview Restaurant. It was it was alright. The food was okay. But um, they actually directed me where to go. So I went, I parked my car. I didn't even know what the hell I was doing. I had no idea where I was going. I met this nice lady. She actually showed me her map. And she told me... The different trails and my friend actually gave me a heads up prior to the trip and told me that the white trail was the most difficult trail so I said I'm not doing that one ended up being I did that one I completely forgot that he told me that so they on the post with the names of the trail there were actually branches so I took one with me you know to help me along and I'm you know I, I was coming across different people. People were saying hi to me. It was pretty cool. I didn't realize how strenuous it was going to be. I know it's a hike. I didn't really think it through. But I was I was very into it. And I noticed that I was too focused on climbing the mountain. And I wasn't really paying attention to what was around me. And I wanted to really take this in as much as possible and really soak it up. So I told myself stop. And I actually uh, walked over to a cliffside. And the view was incredible. So I started uh, taking pictures and just sat there and just enjoyed it. Then I told myself, all right, I think I could go a little further up the mountain. So I start walking. And I actually saw a group of people. So I thought maybe maybe I should just kind of follow along because people were really not doing it alone or they had a pet. And I was alone with a branch. So, yeah. I started following them along, but I stopped to take pictures. So I actually lost them along the way. And I went further up, and I thought that I was okay. So I made a turn somewhere, got lost. I said I didn't want to get lost. I said be careful not to get lost to myself, and uh, sure enough, I got lost. I got pretty freaked out. I was walking in spider webs, and I'm sweating, so there's like flies around me, and it's getting a little darker in the area that I was at. And it's more shrubbery and like just leaves on the ground. It did not look like the trail at all. So I knew I was in the wrong spot. There were no trail markers in sight. The further I walked, it became steeper. It became darker. I kept trying to look for landmarks. Nothing looked familiar. I did have my cell phone. I had reception, but I refused to tell anybody that I was lost. So I really just kept talking to myself, just telling myself, you know, think like a soldier. Don't lose it. Don't lose your shit. No matter what you do, don't lose it. And eventually, it felt like forever. I knew I wasn't lost that long, but it felt like forever. And especially when you're freaking out. I eventually told myself, climb a little further up and you'll find your way. 
you know, maybe you'll see something again that, that looks familiar. So the further, I climbed further up in the direction that I think I came from, and I found a trail marker. Needless to say, I was very grateful, and I, you know, I really just felt emotional. But the funny thing about it is, before I even found my way that I forgot to mention, I kept yelling, hello, hello, anybody, and I kept repeatedly yelling it, and I would stop and don't not move just to see if I would even hear anything or if anybody heard me and nothing, nothing. You know, I, I definitely felt so lonely and so, you know, lost at that point. But the funny thing was, and I'm not a religious person. I am spiritual. I do believe in there being a higher being. And there was never such a moment like this one where I truly, truly believed it. I said, Lord, help me. Please don't let me just stay here. You know, nobody even knows where I am. You know, Lord, help me find my way. When I said that, and then I said to myself, you know, walk in the other direction. Try to maybe retrace your steps as, as much as possible. And that's when I found my way. And that's when I lost it. I cried. I felt like I had a revelation. Like... I couldn't believe that that something is really like guiding me, helping me. Because when I was yelling for help, nobody came. But when I said, Lord, please help me, it it worked in my favor because I found my way and I was so grateful. So I started crying because I just realized that if you really, I don't know, I, I guess have faith that Something could help you do something. Like it, it, I don't know. I don't know. Something bigger than you will help you do something. And it really just, it fucked me up. You know, because it just made me so grateful that, that something greater than me is watching over me and guiding me. You know, and it actually was harder to climb back down the mountain than it was climbing up. So I was I had to be extra careful. And then I was going through moments where I thought I was getting lost again. And every time I just stopped, you know took a breath and I really just looked around I found another trail marker and then I was just grateful all over again all over again and uh, you know the, the trip back down was just so much more different you know and I realized something I realized that when you're doing things you need to appreciate every step along the way because if you appreciate you know things that you come across things that you experience then it's going to be ingrained in your mind more so than if you don't. And I realized that with the trail. I wouldn't have recognized anything if I didn't stop at some point and had appreciated the things that I appreciated to remember them and really figure out where it was that I was at. And it just made me realize that, um, you know, we really got to appreciate things in, in any journey that we take. And you can't you can't just take little things for granted because if you don't appreciate the steps along the way, you know, you're going to miss out on a lot. So I guess what I got out of it was to get to the top, you should appreciate the steps that you took to get there because there's going to be those times where you need to go back to where you started, you know, and you're going to have to remember how to get your way back there. So, I mean, there's just there's just so much to really just think about and realize in your life, you know, and not take things for granted. And I actually, on the way back, um, actually fell a couple times, you know, and I just tried to take it easy. You know, I didn't want to hurt myself, but um, the experience was incredible. I'm not saying it was the most relaxing trip I ever took. It was a hell of an experience, but I feel like I had a revelation and, uh, it, it was definitely something greater than me, and, you know, I obviously went on the trip for a reason, and that was that reason. It was to realize, to just remind me that somebody is watching over me. You know, it could be my brother, Cito, you know, maybe he's, maybe he's watching over me, maybe he's taking care of me. I don't know. I don't know who it could be or what it could be, but there's definitely something, and I'm so grateful for it, you know. I actually, on the way down, I really had to go. So I stopped to relieve myself, and I actually set down the branch that I started with. And I walked away, and I noticed that something was missing. 
So as soon as I really thought about it, I was like, wow, my branch. So I went back and I grabbed my branch and I finished the, I finished the hike with the branch. Because to me, it was my companion. I was alone. So that branch was my companion. When I was lost, you know, when I was trying to find my way, at least I had that to help me along the way, you know. And that was another thing that I really thought about, you know. You, you, need, you need that support. You need support to help you along the way. And you shouldn't forget it, you know, because if you have it, be grateful, and you should never forget it. And it was a hell of a trip. It was a hell of a trip because it was really eye-opening and really spiritual for me. Like I, like I said, I'm not religious, but it was really um, good for my soul. And at the end of the trip, I actually put the branch back where I found it so that it could help somebody else coming along and help guide them. You know, I'm sure for some people, they just did it just to do it for the workout. And initially, that was my whole thing. But I left with a lot more, you know. I really, I just went to go take a hike and I came back with a revelation. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. I, it was a, uh, it was an experience and I almost got scared to the point that I said I would never do this again, but I don't want to live my life in fear. I actually will go hiking again and hopefully I'll have a partner at that time, but I will be more cautious this time around. I'll be more prepared, you know, um, definitely, uh, let me know if you've ever had any revelations, any spiritual reawakenings, you know, share your thoughts with me. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you soon. Have a good night.